Good morning, my dear children. I am back with the maths class of standard one, and today we are going to discuss about the chapter number one, and the name of the chapter is quick recap, and the topics which we are going to discuss are tall and short, uh, tall and short, top and bottom, and heavy and light. Children, mm. look here. What is in my hand? There are two. These are two dolls. Can you say something about these dolls? Yes. This one is tall and this one is short. Tall, short. Tall and short. Say with me. Tall and short. Got it? Now, one one question I am going to ask you. Um, can you tell me? Can you name a person from your family who is tall? And uh, a person who is short, you can do it now. Think over it and give me the answer very quick. Quick, quick, quick. Very fast. I want answer from you all. See children, are you ready with your note copy? Be ready. Whenever you come to see the video now, be ready with your note copy also. Okay. And I told you how to write, how to start our classwork. Have you told? Do you remember this? What I told you in earlier video? Hmm? Yes. We will first. We we are going. We will write classwork in the middle of the copy, and then in the left hand side of uh, of the copy, we are going to write the date. Got it? Now it's classwork time. We will write classwork in the middle, and we will write date here. Okay? And what we have to do? We have to do in classwork write T for tall. Spelling of tall is T A double L. So we will write T, the first letter of tall, and S for short. Got it? We got it all. All children, are you listening? What ma'am is saying? So the question number one, I'm going to make a picture of a. Three. Okay, got it. And a square also. And what you have to do? Just look at these two trees very carefully. Which one is tall? You will write T. And which one is short? You will write S. So you all have to do it yourself. Can you do it? Yes, you can do it yourself. I know very well. Now. One more question I am going to give you. That, that is question number B. Okay. In this question, I am going to give you one picture of a house. A house with a door and windows. And there is another house. There is another house. This house is having so many doors and so many windows. So, again in this, in this picture also you have to write T for tall and S for short. Can you do it? All these are your classwork and you all are smart children and you can and you will do it yourself. You all are smart children and you will do the classwork yourself. Okay, you can do it yourself. And one more thing I'm going to ask you. Do you all love animals? You all love it now? Yes. Can you tell me which one is the tall animal and which one is the short animal? Can you tell me? Yes. Tell me first. Yes. You all are right. Giraffe is the tall animal. And mm, you, can, you can say anything. Either mouse or frog. They all are. They all are short animals. So... Again, it's activity time for you all. What you have to do, just move around your house. Just move around your house and you will show your parents, either your mama or papa, whoever is free, you will, uh, you will tell them. You will tell them, you will show them and you will use all these words. Whatever I told, taught you now, for example, big and small, long and short, tall and short, you will just move around your house and you will tell ki 
mamma mamma see this one is big this one is a small object mamma see that is long that is short this is tall this is short you all will do this you all will do, do this at home or not yes you will all definitely do this i am damn sure you all will do this. you see brick brick you know small small bricks are used to make big big buildings have you seen now are you able to lift it you all will say yes is it easy to carry is it easy to lift it no it's difficult it's hard it's 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 hard to lift it but when i will see when i will tell you go and pick a leaf you will pick, pick it now and it's very easy to pick a leaf but when i will say go and pick a brick it's difficult it's difficult to uh, lift a brick why is it so why is it so why yes because brick is heavy and leaf is leaf is light brick is heavy and leaf is light one more example i i want to share with you all see uh, have you seen a bucket have you know do you know what is a bucket yes it's, it's a bathroom object uh when there is no water in the bucket na it's very easy to lift it but when your mother fills that bucket with uh, with water is it easy to lift no it's not easy to lift why because the same bucket is now it becomes heavy earlier it was light but now when you fill the bucket with the water now it's become heavy got it am i right or wrong are you able to lift a bucket full of water no it's difficult for you to uh, lift that bu bucket na yes when the bucket is when there is no water in the bucket it's light but when we fill the bucket with the water it becomes heavy got it or not mm, happy faces this means you all got it very good now it's class work time now we will write h for heavy h for heavy why because the spelling of heavy is h e a v y and l for light l i g s t light so i am going to make a uh, i am going to make a watermelon for you <coughs> do you like to eat watermelon it's summer time now we like to eat watermelon we like or not we like it so it's a picture of a watermelon and you all will make it more beautiful than me and you can make it now it's a picture of a tomato it's a tomato now which one is heavy and which one is light you will write in this square only watermelon is heavy or light tomato is heavy or light whatever it is you will write if it is heavy you will write h but but if it it, it is right you will write l got it now question number b i will make a picture of a flower what is this flower okay and one square also for writing h or l h for heavy and l for light and this is the picture of a hammer do you know hammer you all know na hammer we used to plumber uses it na plumber electrician uncle they all use it so see flower is heavy or light or uh, hammer is heavy or light whichever is uh, heavy you will write h and which one is light you will write l for that that got it <clears throat> time for top and bottom okay children every time in class your teacher say na ki write uh, in the top of your copy write cw write date in the top of your copy so i think you all know very well what is the top of the copy and what is uh, bottom of the copy copy yes 
वी वी राइट डेट हीयर सी डब्ल्यू हीयर दिस इज द टॉप ऑफ द कॉपी एंड दिस वन इज द बॉटम ऑफ द कॉपी दिस इज द टॉप ऑफ द कॉपी वेयर वी राइट सी डब्ल्यू और डेट ओके एंड दिस इज द बॉटम ऑफ द कॉपी गट इट सी इन माई हैंड वॉट इज इन माई हैंड कैन यू सी इट इट्स अ बॉटल इट्स अ बॉटल दिस इज द दिस इज द कैप ऑफ द बॉटल दिस इज टॉप एंड दिस वन इज द बॉटम ऑफ द बॉटल दिस इज द टॉप एंड दिस वन इज द बॉटम दिस वन इज द टॉप एंड दिस वन इज द बॉटम नाउ इन आर बॉडी वॉट इज द टॉप ऑफ आवर बॉडी हेड एंड वॉट इज द बॉटम ऑफ आवर बॉडी लेग्स लेग्स आर एट द बॉटम ऑफ आवर बॉडी एंड हेड इज एट द टॉप ऑफ आवर बॉडी क्लास वर्क टाइम what we have to do is we will we are going to write uh, t for top and b for bottom of the object got it see this is a picture of a park whenever we go to a park what do we see there slides do you like to go to the park or not this is the picture of a slide this is the picture of the slide and i am going to make two squares one here and the another one here and don't take too much time don't take too much time give me answer very fast okay this is a picture of a slide and now two boxes are he in given here now what you have to do you have to write t for top and b for bottom do it fast very fast very fast do it fast it's homework time what you have to do is draw a draw a flag draw a flag draw a flag do you know how to draw a flag yes with the help of triangle you can draw a flag color the flag red okay and make a and make a blue star on the top of the flag on the top of the flag and make a cat at the bottom of the flag at the bottom of the flag got it or not i'm going to repeat it once again okay for you all listen carefully draw a flag color the flag red and make a blue star on the top of the flag and make a cat at the bottom of the flag and you i told you earlier in the first video only no need to worry about the copy whichever copy you, you are having you will use that copy only and you will write class work and homework all in a same copy got it so bye children i will be back with the third video okay till then be safe be happy